Yeah, yeah Jason Simpson, UT Martin. I was excited because it's the next season, and I've been fortunate enough to be at UT Martin for 17 different teams to put on the field. Um, you know, this is a fun team. You know, we've got several six-year guys that have been with us um, a long time, and that's a special, you know, bond and memory and, and an opportunity for tremendous leadership from those guys. Uh, and then building off of last year. You know, going too deep into the playoffs and, and uh, you know, lost a lot of good players, but a lot of good players were, and experienced players returning. And uh, what was your team's uh, playoff experience like last year? Uh, you know, it was great. I mean, obviously you want to win your last game, okay, but uh, the challenge of going on the road and, and beating the Missouri Valley team on the road and then the next week, uh, you know, flying out to Bozeman, Montana, uh, you know, I think, you know, we were, we had several players injured, so we weren't the same team we had been, you know, during a nine game win streak. But uh, I think if you ask our players, they're excited for the, the journey to get back to there. And, and now that they know a little bit more of what that's about and what it takes to keep moving, you know, on, on a weekly basis, uh, you know, they're excited about it. And uh, what's the biggest challenge for your team this year? Uh, you know, the schedule is very difficult. Very have two uh, power five, a group of five, uh, two FCS playoff um, participants, and then a tough conference schedule. So I think that's first and foremost. Uh, you know, yeah, we probably got I don't know eight to nine different uh, all preseason all conference players. But last year we had 20 at, at the end of the season. Okay, so you know we graduated some some players. So there's some new faces, but I think these guys will tell you there's some there's some faces in our building that uh, will will be on this list. This these um, postseason accolade list uh, and that's exciting because we know you know there's some other good players in the building and and good teammates and so I think that'll be the challenge of, 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 of growing throughout the season. Along those lines, what do you like most about your team? <sighs> you know it's comforting to have you know like John Ford and Colton Dowell and and Devin Sims and Matthew Hatchie and uh, Zach Wall you know those are good players and and they're good people. They're fun to be around. They're, you have a lot of trust in them of how they just carry themselves. They're, they're outstanding people. So looking forward to seeing those guys reach their, you know, their full potential, their, you know, chase their goals and their dreams individually uh, and their leadership in, in our building. I think those are some things that, uh, when I think back to even last year's team and every year's team is, is different, but, you know, seeing kids leave our program proud that that was a decision they made uh, to come play for us there at, in Martin, Tennessee. Uh, I feel, you know, a part of that. And uh, what are your general impressions of the OVC this year? You know, a uh, new team added, so that's exciting, uh, you know, to go and play. You know, obviously some, some, some changing times, but, uh, you know, we got five conference games, and that's how we'll be judged from a, from a national standpoint. Uh, you know, we, you know, we don't play Southeast Missouri, but obviously, you know, we have a lot of respect for them and, and, and their past several years. Uh, you know, so I, I don't know what to expect. Uh, somebody asked me that question yesterday. Um, I don't know how much everybody's improved. If I had to compare our 2022 team to our 21, we've got a chance to, to um, you know, to compete. But you don't know how good everybody else has improved. So that's what's always exciting about going into the next season.